This one is a challenging one because essentially the whole sentence is underlined. So let's first look at the word expected versus expectations. It appears as a verb, a verb, a noun, a noun, and a verb. In general, when you have a word that flips between being a noun and a verb among the five choices, usually when it's expressed as a verb, it's more direct and active, and when it's expressed as a noun, it's more passive and wordy. And that's exactly what we find here. So expectations are for heating oil prices to be higher. That's a wordy way to say it, so that's not preferable. It is the expectation that, oh my God, does anyone believe that something like that would be a correct answer on the GMAT? That's a disaster. So those two are out. And so we have heating oil prices are expected in A and B. It is expected that heating oil prices will rise. Notice this is a very wordy way to say it. Part of what we have both in D and E is what's called the empty it. The it that is not actually referring to anything. The empty it is rarely correct on the GMAT. So you should always just have, always have a red flag go up when you see an empty it. And E in particular is just incredibly wordy. So we'll just get rid of that. So we're down to A and B. One of the differences between A and B is just this final word. So what exactly is going on here? When we have a comparison, the two terms of the comparison are in parallel. And what that means is that we can omit common words. So we are saying are paying more than they blank. We're implying that the same word paying appears at the end. And so the question is what helping verb should go in front of paying? Are paying, that works. Do paying, that doesn't work. Were paying, so were works here whereas have or do does not work. Meanwhile, if I say pay instead of paying, pay more than they blank pay, well, were pay does not work anymore. Have pay does not work anymore. Did pay, that works. So the correct helping verb depends on what would work best with the implied verb, and the implied verb has to be the same as the one that appeared at the beginning. So in both of these, we have are paying. And so what has to go with that are paying and were paying. That is correct. Did paying, that is not correct. Also notice this phrase to rise higher, to rise higher. That's redundant. If you rise, of course you're going higher. To rise higher is completely redundant. So B is out. A is the only one that is free of grammatical error. It is correct. It is sleek and direct. It is by far the best answer choice.